I'm the flyest motherfucker at the kickback. Not a competition, little boy with a wrist that Need me in the bathroom, I don't want to sit chat. See, not a boyfriend. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Kickback Podcast, or Kicking Back with Just Joan. There's no one else here, it's just me, we're back in our bedroom, my bedroom, not ours, it's not yours, it's mine. Today has been a very, what's the word, eventful day, <laughs> I guess. I guess it may be eventful, but at the same time, I'm gonna keep the headphones on. I have to get used to it, you know? But it's currently 11.04, still relatively early in the day. We're here podcasting again. Um, Let me just tell you a little bit about my morning and how it's been going so far. So, today, I woke up and I had to take my little siblings to school. Both of them, one of them is in middle school, the other one in an elementary school. And my little sister, her school starts an hour after my little brother's school starts, which I found very weird. I'm like, what? It's almost nine. It's almost nine. And the school's not even like the the school opens at nine. I remember having to get to school at, at before eight. You had to be in class at eight. I don't know. It made more sense. Anyways, besides the point. Her school opens an hour after my little brother's school. So I drop off my little brother and I'm like, all right, well, now we have some time to kill. Let's find something to do. Last time we went to go play at a park like right next to her school. And I've been to that park before. I remember I had a field trip one time. I didn't go. I think I ended up staying at home because I was like, eh. I'd rather not go to the park. I'd just stay home and chill. It was towards the end of like eighth grade or something. And we were supposed to go to the park. I didn't go. But anyways, today in the morning to kill some time and spend some time with my sister and just wait for her school to start and open up so that way she can actually walk in. We decided to go to the park. And it's fun. We're enjoying our time. It's really nice. I always like mornings like I'm not a I wouldn't say that I'm much of a morning person but now as of recently I've been enjoying the morning a lot more than staying up late back then I would say night owl for sure I would stay up so late all the time but now nah I want my sleep I want my sleep and I want my day so I go to sleep relatively early ish kind of I try. I try. Okay. I'm not perfect, but I try. And I wake up, and I've been waking up on time. Actually, no. I've been waking up a few minutes earlier than my alarm. I don't know what that means. I don't know why it happens. But I'll wake up, and it'll be like four minutes before my alarm turns on. And I'm like, ugh. I want to go back to sleep. And I try going back to sleep, but... I mean, you're not going to fall back asleep in four minutes or you're not going to have like a whole restful experience in four minutes. But we're there at the park. We're chilling. We see some dogs. We see some birds, hummingbirds. She said that we were going to get double good luck because we saw two hummingbirds. I explained that. I was like, yeah, so that way that one gives you luck and that one gives me luck. She said, or that one and that one can give me luck and that one and that one can give you luck. I'm like, double luck? She's like, yeah. I'm like, wow. I like it. Good job. Like, I I love your mentality. My little sister, she's amazing. But we're there. We're playing around the playground. Enjoying the fresh morning smell of the grass. The sun's hitting us, you know, nice in the morning. That, That early morning sunrise, you know, when it touches your skin. It's like it's, it's like it's dancing or something, you know? You feel it doing the tango. You feel it in your heart. You feel it in your mind. You feel it everywhere in your nuggets. <laughs> but we're we're there. We're having fun. I'm like, huh. It's almost time to take my little sister to school. Because I know they're about to open. And it'll be a good time to take her. So we end up going back to the car. And last time we had 
sat in the car and listened to Bruno Mars, which is her favorite music artist right now. And I love that choice. I loved Bruno Mars. Little do y'all know, my very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube was actually a video of me fully clothed. I was in the bathtub or in like the shower, like with a, with a glass that closes, right? I was I went in there with my iPod and I started singing Grenade. And I remember singing that song. Cause darling, I'll still, hold on again. Cause darling, I'll still catch a grenade for ya. Sorry, I couldn't do it with my headphones on because then I would be like stuttering or stumbling over my words. That probably sounded like ass. Sorry, but <laughs> that was my very first video I ever uploaded on YouTube. And I wish I hadn't deleted it. I wanted to archive everything or just put it as private, but I ended up deleting all of my old videos and I regret it every single day. Cause it was just, it's, it would be so cool to be able to look back at the videos that you had on there. They're just memories, you know? I, ha I remember a video I did of me like walking around the backyard of my house, recording my turtles, a whole bunch of little skits that I did inside. I don't know. I don't even remember the skits, but it'd be so interesting to do that. People at YouTube, Make that like one time out of the year where you can go back and look at the things that you might have deleted before just so we can remember, you know, maybe we accidentally, I know you tell us like, we're never going to do that. If you delete it, it's deleted forever, but just make an exception. Just one time, just one time, like for a whole week, you're going to be able to. And then after that, just actually delete everything in there. I don't know if you guys have done it before, but if you guys did it again, that would be very much appreciated. We're chilling. We're at the park. I'm with my little sister. And I'm like, you wanna go listen to Bruno Mars in the car? She's like, nah, not today. I'm like, all right, well, your school's about to start in a bit. So just be ready, cause we're gonna leave in a bit. She's like, okay. And we're chilling at the park, waiting for time to pass. The time comes where we have to go back to the car. And I'm like, all right, let's go. We go back to the car, she buckles herself up, and I try turning on my car, and it's like, I'm like, oh no, 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 no way. Fuck. My car was not turning on. Well, I was like, what do I do? Why well, can't I? I'm with Valerie, with like with my little sister, easy. I'm like she live, she goes to school like right down the street. I can just walk her there. But me, how am I gonna get home? That's gonna be a very interesting morning. Besides the point, let's just get Valerie to school, drop her off, and then this we'll take care of it right now. We'll figure it out. We'll see what we need to do, what we can do, see our options, see what 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 could happen. You know. Speaking of which. I have my car charging right now, the battery. Yeah, I've been having some battery problems with my car. It switched. It was from like a, a problem down where the wheel is. And now that feels fine. But now my car doesn't even want to start. So I don't even know what's up with that. Might need a new battery. But for that, I need money. Dude, car batteries are like $300 now. What the fuck? I don't remember them being that expensive. But... I need to buy a car battery and I drop off Valerie at school and I'm thinking, I'm like, who can I call? Who can I text? And I don't want to bother anybody. And then, Hmm, what do I do? I was like, I'll figure something out. I drop her off. I start walking back to my car and I get to my car and I've recorded it all. I was going to make like a small little video about it since I was already there and I probably will I'm not even won't think about it. Just upload it and see what, what, I don't know. I'm not expecting anything of it, but I'm just practicing creating or talking to the camera as much as I can. I've also been taking photos like on the Huji app. If you guys don't know what the Huji app, it's like a disposable camera, but on your phone. So it gives you that look. And um, yeah, I've been taking some more f photos like that just so I can like kind of remember and really embrace the moments that are happening to me or that I'm living through that I sometimes tend to overlook. Anyways, I walk back to my car and I'm like, fuck, 
please turn on, please turn on, please turn on. And I give it another shot. I'm like, oh, no, please, no. Why? Doesn't anyone care about Thib the Sloth? No, no one cares. And I sit there, I'm like, shit, what do I do? Hmm. I'm like brainstorming. I'm like, I don't know how long I'll be here for. Hmm. What can I turn my car on with? And I'm like looking around. I'm like, I can jumpstart it, but I need another car. And I have jumper cables in my car because I had a feeling that a moment like this was bound to happen. I'm telling you, I had some car problems already before I left my house. But never when I was like out in public or like in the world. So I haven't had to struggle through that until today. So I'm looking around. I'm like, who can I ask? Who can I ask? And as I'm walking back to my car, there's a lady in her car. And I'm like, should I ask her? I don't want to startle her. I don't want to bother her. And she's like looking at me through her window. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is that guy walking in the alley? Oh, I better lock my car. And I heard it. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's not. I don't want to bother her. She's chilling. She's probably trying to get to work. And be on with her day. May she have a great day. And I'm like, God, please send me somebody. Send me somebody to save me right now. I need somebody's help. And I'm waiting right there in my car. I try to give it another crank. It doesn't work. I come out of my car and just start s- sitting, chilling, looking around. Kind of remaining calm. Like I wasn't in a huge uh, state of anxiety or like panic. Like, yeah, it was a shitty moment. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. This kind of sucks. This might be kind of bad for me today. Um, But, hey, it is what it is. Something will happen. I just had that, like, positive reinforcement within myself, which I really appreciate. You know, I'm glad that I didn't get into any panic. The only thing that I was panicking, there was one thing, I'll have to admit, there was one thing that I was panicking about. It was early in the morning. I hadn't gone to the restroom. And I was practically shitting myself. I said it. I was practically shitting myself. I was like, "There's, I need a restroom. The park has a restroom, but they were locked. So I couldn't even go in those. And taking a shit in a public restroom? In a park? In a public park restroom? Yeah, nah. Nah. That's not going to happen. That's, nah. I can hold it. And I did. And I was waiting. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? That was the only thing. Like, damn, I got to go to the restroom. I got to go to the restroom. (sighs) Okay, 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 okay. Hold it. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm good. Something will come. And I see this guy. He's in his backyard. He's putting stuff onto his van. I think he was, like, getting ready for work or something. And he's getting into his van. And I'm like, I'm going to go ask. I don't want to bother anybody, but I got to go ask. And I go to like his fence because it's like a slidable sliding fence, electric fence or something. And he's like walking away from his car, going back inside or something. Excuse me. I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. And he like stopped, but just kept walking. I was like, he probably heard me, but he doesn't want to deal with me. So I get it. I get the hint. Thank you. Appreciate it. I go back to my car and I keep doing what I'm doing. I just start chilling. I start sitting, waiting, relaxing, looking outside, feeling the breeze, hearing the birds sing. It's a bad situation, but it's not a bad life. And I'm waiting. And then he opens his his garage, like sliding back fence door and he pulls out his van I'm like, oh, should I ask? Should I ask? And then instead of like just leaving, he stops. He gets out of his van and goes to manually close his fence. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I got to. Because I don't know when will be the next time that I see somebody here that's able to open or jumpstart my car. I'm like, excuse me. Do you think you can give me a jump? Like right straight up. And he looks at me. And he, I feel like he was expecting me. 
Like, you know how when you go to a gas station and you see, like, a homeless person and you're like, he's about to come ask me for money? Uh, what do I do? I don't have money for myself. Well, man, I can't give him money right now. And I don't even know this dude. You know, I feel bad, yeah, but yeah, I can't give him money right now. <laughs> and he looks at me like some sort of pity case. And I'm like, excuse me, do you think you can give me a jump on my car? And he's like, um... And he starts to come up with, like, some sort of excuse that he was already, like, planned. I feel like it was already planned out. He was like, oh, my car, my van, its battery is, like, a little weird. It doesn't really let you jump start or connect anything. It's just built a little bit different, so I don't know if it'll work. I'm like, for sure. It's cool. Thank you. It's fine. Have a great day. Thank you. And he walks away. And I just, I'm like, well, that sucked. Oh, well, we continue to wait. And he comes back. Like, he turns around. He's like, hey, um, I don't know for sure, but I think my van, the battery, has, like, a, at least a little part where you could hook it up. But I don't know if it'll work. I've never tried it before. But it might have it. And I'm like, do you think you can please give me a jump start? He's like, yeah. So he pulls up his car or his van right next to mine. I have jumper cables in the back. I pull them out. He connects them to his van. I connect mine to my car. <laughs> my car turns on. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And I was like, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know when it was going to be the next time I saw somebody. And I don't know when I was going to get home. I'm just trying to drop off my siblings to school and my car can't handle that right now. <laughs> but um, he's like, yeah, this and that. He just says goodbye. I say goodbye. And I go home. First thing I do, took a nice little shit. <laughs> I'm being a little too personal here. I'm sorry. Lo siento. It is what it is. But that's what happened. That's how my morning's been going. And beforehand, I was... Like, okay, I don't know. Hold on, let me let me restart that because I don't know where I was going when I was like about to say something. But I come home, and ideally in the morning because I'm turning 22. This week I'm turning 22. It's currently 10-9-2023. I turn 22 on the 13th, so that's in four days. Crazy, damn, right. But uh, I had to renew my license. I have to renew my license. And uh, I had done like the online stuff already. But I hadn't actually gone to the DMV to go and renew my license. And that was the plan for today. I'm like, all right, I'll drop off the kids. And then I'll just go and renew my license at the DMV. Where it's going to be freaking boring. <sighs> Hiccup. I hope it doesn't take forever. I really, I really hope that it doesn't take forever, but that's what I'm charging my car for. Car, blah, blah, blah. I'm charging my car up for. I think these headphones have like a small delay. I'm not sure, but it does trip me out a little bit just hearing myself through my headphones every single time that I talk. But I have my car charging, so I think that I'm still gonna go to the DMV and knock that out today, cause. I feel like having a license that's valid and not expired will probably do me better in the future. Not that my car's expired yet, but it expires on my birthday. And if I want to turn 22, according to my identification, I need to go down to the DMV and renew my license. I wonder if they're going to take a picture. I really wonder. I know I took two. I took two um, pictures at the DMV. The first one, I think I ha I got my ID. I got my ID first. And then afterwards, I got my driver's license. So, I took two. And it was funny because you see, like, two different pictures of me, like, just a little spread out. And right now, like, I'm looking at my ID. I want to look at my ID, actually. I haven't seen it in a while. And I look so different. I was a little bit chubbier. Not chubbier, but, like, I had more, more weight on me. I was a little bulkier. I don't think I was ever fat. I don't think I was chubby. 
my face just holds a like when I do gain weight, whether it be for like muscle or actual fat, you see it right away in my cheeks. It kind of sucks. But yeah, I have bigger cheeks in this picture. My beard isn't exactly like that. My hair is a lot longer right now. I just look a little bit more mature. Age 21 in 2022. Expires 10-13-2023. Uh, I got to update my license. Got to update everything. And I'm probably going to have to do it again. Because when I move out of this place. Because that's coming towards the end of the year. I'm going to have to change my address for literally everything. That's going to suck. Just changing your address every single time. Like every single time you move. I remember back then. We used to move a lot. Like me and my family. And we never really thought anything of it. My dad was talking to me a while back ago. He said that it was always such a hassle to move. He's like, oh, I never wanted to. Like, why are we moving from like one place to another that is the exact same thing? Like, what's the point? We're already here. Like, why are we moving to the same exact location or same exact like type of place just in a different spot? And I was like, really? I never really thought about that now that I think about it. And because I was a kid, you know, me and my sister, we would just all right, we're moving to another place, new neighbors to play with, new room, new house. Like, it was just cool. It was a new experience, something different, something, I don't know, to look forward to. But I can see now, like, if we were to move out, especially right now, because, like, money's, money's super tight, I would say. We need more money. <laughs> money will come. Money will come to my wallet. I ask for abundance. I ask for everything. I deserve everything. You know? It's not wrong to think that. I know it sounds a little bit selfish, but no. As I said in the last episode, God wants you to have everything that you could possibly desire. You know? And he'll help you along the way. Just don't be afraid to ask. So I ask God every day. Give me money. Give me a wealth, abundance, health, wisdom. I ask for wisdom a lot. But... What was I saying? Yeah, moving would be annoying. Just having to change everything up again. Or get situated again. Yeah, money really makes that process a little bit easier when you do have it. Because it's like, alright, well, yeah, it's a smaller place, but we're chilling. You know, we have everything that we could possibly need. Like, this house is really nice. Like, the fact that my dad was able to have this place for the years that he did have it. Like, this is the biggest house we've ever had. Ever. I remember we were all supposed to move here. Like, the entire family. But my mom decided to stay over at the at the place that she's at right now. And I stayed with her. I remember that look that my dad gave me. He's like, no, you stay with your mom. You, like, you know, she's going to need your help. So, you stay here. Just do it. You got it. I was like, all right, let's go. But now I'm back over here. I would, I think when I first moved here or before I moved here, I think I called this room. I think I said, I think this is going to be my room. This one's going to be Monica's room. And then I don't know what the downstairs room was going to be or anything. But that was like before I even had the idea of having a podcast or doing this stuff like as an actual job it was just something that i did for fun you know i mean ideally you would want to be able to do this like as your job or uh, just content creation in general be a content creator that's like the number one job that almost everyone wants to have just because of the liberty the freedom the creativeness the adventure i don't know i don't know why some people like what's the reasoning besides money that some people want to become content creators what were some of the reasons that i wanted to be a content creator i think it was because i grew up in that era of content you know smosh niga higa who else did i watch those of course the drawing tutorial people they were always they were like my masters my mentors you know i watched their 
every video i saw all their techniques you know okay so first you draw it then you outline it and then these are the best pens for outlining you should get these and then wait a little bit because if you use the marker right away it's gonna melt the outline because it's still fresh so you want to give it a little bit of time to really set in there and dry so when you put the marker it's still a perfect line you know all all those like little techniques things you may look over that wouldn't have been accessible to me if it wasn't for the content creators of youtube so i guess i saw the value behind the content creation part and I really appreciate it, you know? I'm glad that I'm kind of like simplifying things down a little bit more because content has just gone off through so many different rails. Like social media, I'm telling you, like just the shorts, the way they're so fast, you're not even paying attention to the shit that you're watching. Like, yeah, it's funny. And sometimes you'll recall it, but you won't even remember what you saw like five minutes ago. So just strictly coming back to YouTube and not really scrolling on social media, it kind of like <sighs> my brain, you know, it, it allows my brain to breathe a little bit. I'm like, okay, I remember this. I remember this, man. Yeah, I spent all my time on YouTube when I was a kid. It was very crazy. Just watched all kinds of videos. You know, that was my main source of information. And now we're back to that. Choosing the information that we want to intake, becoming as much, no, becoming as knowledgeable as much as we can. I don't know if that was a perfect sentence or not, but hey, it is what it is. Turning 22. Man, I really do hope the DMV today doesn't take forever. That's going to suck. But I know that if I don't do it today, I'm not going to want to do it tomorrow. And then I'm not going to want to do it on a Wednesday. Because in reality, who wants to go to the DMV? I haven't heard one person ever in my life say, yes, oh, yes, we're going to the DMV. Fuck yeah. Mm. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go to the DMV. I haven't heard a kid. I don't even think the people who work at the DMV want to go to the DMV. I remember one time we went, I don't know what it was for, something about a license, something about an ID, something about something. I think I'm with my mom. I think it was my mom who told me. She was like, you should get a job here, like one of these government places because they pay good. And I looked at her like, I, I, I don't know, there was just something in my mind that told me, like, did this lady just say that? She wants me to work here. Dog. It's gray. Like, that's the air. The air is gray in here. The fluorescent lights. The super gray, unsaturated walls. The the souls in here. They, nobody wants to be here. Not even the people that work here want to be here. You want me to be here? You want me to volunteer to work here? Nah. Nah. I'm not working here. And it's just funny. It's just funny having to go to that place. And every single time that you have to go to that place, you never look forward to it. I don't think it's one of those things that you just get used to. I don't think it's one of those things that it's like, all right, it's just another day at the DMV. Maybe it's just perspective. Maybe it's just your perspective. If I say, oh, yeah. I get to go to the DMV, renew my license. It's going to take a while, but hey, it's going to be fun. Let's go and have some fun. Let's go some break some shit, you know? I hate the security guards at the DMV. Sometimes those security guards be taking their job way too seriously, but they're rude about it. Like, yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing your job. You're doing a great, fantastic job. But why the fuck are you being so rude? <laughs> like, I ask you a simple question or I'm comf Look, dog, I don't even want to be here. I don't even know where to go. I don't know who to talk to. I just need some direction. Do you think you can help me? Or should I just tell myself to fuck off? Because, yeah. Let's see. Does everyone need to update their license at when they turn 22? Or is it like every five years? 
because I remember I got my does it say the issue date on my license? 2021. What two years? Two years. I think it is because it it's so it can say like it says age 21 in 2022. I think it's gonna remove that. I'm gonna get the real ID, which I think works as a passport. I remember I wanted to get that before, but ended up not doing it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna oh and I also I also am a organ donor. I think that I feel dust in my nose. <sighs> I think that's going to be taken off too. Just because I heard that when they see that on your ID, my mom scared the fuck out of me when she told me this. I was like, like I could not believe. I could not believe my mom. <laughs> I thought it was something terrifying. I saw it through a, through a lens of a cinematic movie, a horror movie even. Like Jeffrey Dahmer type shit. Like, you know, when it was like, the, you know how the coloring in Jeffrey Dahmer was like kind of yellow and kind of green-ish? Kind of gave like a, what's the word that I'm looking for? A, I don't know the word that I'm looking for. But like creepy, you know, creepy vibes. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Sinister, sinister vibes, you know? And that's kind of what I imagined <laughs> when my mom was telling me this she told me that because i was filling it out i was filling out the application so i can get my id and it said are you an organ donor or do you want to be put down as an organ donor and i put yes like yeah sure if i die if someone else needs my heart or something dude have take my life take life you know i'm granting somebody else life how amazing does that sound? And then afterwards, like we're sitting down, we're waiting to be called up, and she asks me. My mom turns to, my mom turns to me and she asks me, Did you put down that you were an organ owner? Cause she saw like this prompt on the TV when you're waiting at the DMV about being an organ donor. I was like, huh? Are you an organ donor? Did you put that down? I was like, yeah. I put yes. She's like, oh. It's like, why? No, I'm just asking. I'm like, do you have it? I don't have it. But some people do. Some people don't. And I'm like, oh. Is it, like, good or bad to do it? Like, what does... It's like, nothing. It's just something you can put. But I've heard that when you're an organ donor, if something happens to you, like, they try to help you out less because, you know, those organs are valuable and somebody else may need them and they can get more money off of selling those organs or using those organs rather than, you know, helping you. And I was like, so they're going to, so if something happens and you're telling me they're going to harvest my organs when they could save me because what the fuck i imagined a doctor in a lab coat lab coat like one of those purple not purple those blue the scrubs with like the glasses and the little like scrub cap and i don't know like a and like them cutting into my skin and ripping out my organs and be like hey that's a nice heart you got there Sounds pretty useful. Maybe not to you anymore. <laughs> Maybe to that guy over there. And then they just take out my heart and give it to somebody instead. So from that, that was just like one of those core memories that I had. And every single time that I think of myself or think of somebody saying like, every time I'm reminded of being an organ donor, that's all that comes up in my mind. I'm like, damn, bro. There's a, there's a deeper picture to this shit. No, for real. For real. My mom told me. My mom said that if you're an organ donor, they're going to rip that shit out. Like, you could be alive, but they don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, for real. You're telling me my mom's wrong? Are you telling me that my mom's a liar? <laughs> so now I'm thinking. 
nah, that can't actually happen. But the way shit's going on in the world, I don't even know what to believe. I don't know who to trust. I don't know. Like, I heard this one story. My friend was telling me that his uncle was sick, right? And they were saying that he had, like, COVID or something and that he needed help or he was, like, about to die or something like that. And they gave him, like, morphine, not knowing that his uncle was allergic to morphine. So he got poisoned, basically, but they blamed it on COVID. Um, That's a whole different fucking conversation right there. But that was a very interesting story. I don't know if it was, like, fact-checked. I didn't fact-check it, but this was just something I was told by a friend of mine. And I, I was like, so the public hospital... The public hospital killed you? Killed your uncle? He's like, that's what we think, bro. Because, yeah, they found morphine in his system. And he's he's allergic to morphine. I was like, damn. And then I heard, I remember when I worked at this camera store, Max Star Cameras. Shout out Max Star. My manager, she was telling me. Because she was saying, we're, I think we we're talking about like, uh, like medical care or medical insurance. And she was saying that she pays, like, I don't know, some absurd amount for health insurance. I was like, you pay how much for health insurance? She's like, yeah. So you can get to the private hospitals. I was like, what? I don't get this. I was never taught any of this. I don't know what this means. I'm like, private hospitals? Okay, but, like, why? Why are you paying so much for She's like, because I don't want them to experiment on us. Dog, what? Experiment on us? What do you mean? What are you saying here? She's like, oh yeah, at public hospitals, like when you sign or when you go in there, you they can experiment on you. They can do like things that you don't know that they did to you. And in private hospitals, you pay a little bit more, but you have more reinsurance um, of the doctor and the work and the protocol that they're going to do. I was like, uh, experiment. And then I thought of my friend's uncle's experiment. Oh, what? No way. For real. She's like, yeah, no, this this is like dead ass. Like she was telling me that she worked in insurance for so long. She's like, I know this stuff. I was like, dog, (laughs) huh? I don't remember the last time I went to the hospital. Or the doctor. I don't think I've needed to go to the doctor. I'm a very healthy person, I would say. Like, I get sick once a year. And for like two days. I don't think I've been... Knock on wood. Thank you, God, for my health. My salud. I appreciate it. I've been healthy. I haven't been taking care of my body all that much. But still, I'm maintaining. And now that I'm actually actively taking care... Taking more care of my body like I feel good I'm glad that I'm in this state and I'm only gonna get better I'm looking forward to it but yeah I hardly ever get sick last year or was it this year I think I've been sick already this year I think I had like a sinus infection or something and it's crazy because like usually you feel a little sick you go straight to the doctor they give you medication and then you're like oh oh, I'm, I'm have to take this medicine so I don't feel so bad I did take medicine, but it was just like a pain relief because I was getting these major migraines. Like I'm talking like the point where you had to go and lay down. It was happening to me to me for like a whole week and I didn't know what it was. And then I started looking up some of those symptoms that I was having, which is something you're not supposed to do, especially on Google, because you're automatically basically dying. Um and it said that I had a sinus infection, or that I could have a sinus infection. Sorry, my microphone unplugged, but I was saying, yeah, I hardly ever get sick. I'm a very healthy person. I try to be at least as much as I can, especially now. Like I'm telling you the things that I've been like looking through or learning has just caused so much fear and I guess anxiety within me sometimes. Like all this shit that they put in our food, how now they're trying to do like a mRNA uh, chemical and they're trying to put it like basically the shit that helps you not get COVID the mRNA whatever 
that they want to start putting that in our food, like in lettuce and stuff like that in our crops. And I heard somebody say that they wanted to try putting it in the water. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean you want to put it in the water? Like you're poisoning the water? I mean, because fluoride isn't enough or all the fucking other trashy chemicals that we already have in our water isn't enough. I remember I was talking to my sister about that. La Monica. I was talking to her. I was... She was like, dude... I forgot why we even brought this conversation. I want to say that they were saying something about... Oh, yeah. They were saying that drinking water from the tap, from the sink, was perfectly healthy. It was normal. Like, oh, yeah. Like, you can trust me, guys. 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 You can trust me. The water inside the sink is perfectly fine. You guys have nothing to worry about. It's all in your head. It's perfectly safe to drink. I drink it all the time. And they were trying to make everyone believe that shit. Listen, I've seen my dad work on pipes, you know, under the sink. And uh, he cuts them. Like he, he would cut them and replace them and fix it. The shit that is in those pipes that the water runs through. The shit that is in those pipes is the nastiest thing I've ever fucking seen. The smell of it, the texture of it, it's all like slimy and gooey and it's brown and green and rust and all of that coming out of the sink. You're washing your hands. I was telling her that they were trying to say that, you know, to the public and the news that it's super safe to drink water out of the tap. And she's like, that's so nasty. Why are they saying that? I'm like, cuz they want you to get sick. They want to make money off of you, you know, and fluoride. I heard that something about fluoride or um, water that hasn't gotten through osmosis or some shit like that, that the stuff that is in the water, that kind of harms your, your brain and your thinking a little bit. So you shouldn't be drinking that. Again, haven't fact checked that. But I mean, the way shit's working, I'm telling you, like when if somebody says something like that, it's not that hard not to believe them because they're saying some other craziest shit. And I don't know. It's just a, a bunch. Like, who do you trust? Who do you believe now? Because like, everyone's supposedly saying the truth. Everyone is saying that we're all good. We are in the best. How does Joe Biden say it? That we're like in the best economic position that we've been in so many years. I'm like, dog, (laughs) gas is $6. Fuck is you talking about? A gallon of milk is five bucks. Eggs, $8. Fuck is you saying? Because if that's good for the economy, then I don't want any part of this economy. But she was saying, my little sister, she was telling me, yeah, now imagine like every single time you brush your teeth. I'm like, she's like, imagine every single time you take a shower, all that water that runs on you. I'm like, but the soap, the soap helps. The soap's got to help. But that's still pretty nasty water. Unfiltered, full of chemicals, full of metals, shit. That you don't want on you or in you. And I remember there was a time where my mom or my dad was making coffee, like through the coffee pot. And after I was doing some of that research, I guess, like just learning about how nasty the water is and the drains from the tap. I never drank out of that coffee pot again because I would see him and I would do it too. I would fill it up with just the water from the sink put it to boil, and I heard that putting that water to boil is even worse. Like, once once you boil the water that comes out of the tap, like, there's a chemical reaction. You're, you're adding heat to it. I'm checking, like, through the window to see if my car's okay because I have it charging, and I've left it for quite a while. Um, so I'm just trying to monitor it every once in a while. I don't forget. But I heard that boiling the water that comes out of the tap is so bad for you. Like, it's even worse, you know? It, you're making a chemical reaction inside the water and the chemicals and the metals that are in there. And then when you intake it or consume it, it it just, it's not beneficial to you. And we would fill up that coffee pot with uh, just water from the tap. 
and fill it up, put it into the coffee pot maker or the coffee maker, coffee machine, fill it up, fill it with coffee, let it pour in, and we would just drink the coffee, not think anything of it. But ever since I was doing that research, mm mm-mm. I have my French press, I fill it up with coffee, put some uh, water from my like filtered water machine thing that I bought and it's downstairs and that was the end of me drinking fucking sink water for coffee and I'm not gonna lie, I know, obvious, right? But you can really taste the difference between the water inside of the coffee, like it's so weird. You you taste like a little bit of like a like a powdery taste when you drink the coffee that came from like the tap and it just feels like the natural essence of coffee when you drink it out of the coffee pot, out of the mocha pot. And the mocha pot. Oh, mocha pot coffee? Hard to do. I still don't know the technique cuz I haven't practiced it all that much, but that shit is fire. I love coffee. Like, coffee is so good. I was telling somebody about coffee, how it was, like, they use... Because I've heard that coffee's history is a little bit weird. Like, they made it illegal for a while. But because the plantation workers weren't working as hard without their coffee as fast... Or not the plantation owners, the plantation workers... They weren't working all that fast. So the plantation owners were not making all that much money all that fast. They're like, what the fuck is going on? We took away their coffee. Oh, hey, church. Hey, church. You know how everyone listens to you? Yeah. Why don't you say that? Like the whole thing about coffee being a sin because it alters your mood and your energy levels. That it's like something about the devil or something. Just forget about that. Tell them that. Oh. Uh, actually, it's completely fine. Like, don't worry about that. Just tell them. Coffee is good. Drink your coffee. That whole thing that we're saying about you're going to go to hell if you drink coffee because it's uh, it alters your energy levels unnaturally. Um, don't <sighs> ignore that. That was just our wrongdoing. You know? It's, it's just coffee, right? Go ahead. Drink your coffee. Work, keep working, you know? You're, you'll be good. Yeah, you want some coffee too? I'll get you some coffee. Yeah, but I won't drink it though because I just, uh, I don't like it. <clears throat> but you can drink it. Yeah, that guy's so going to hell. What? Hmm? No, 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 no. You drink your coffee. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You know, or that there was like a whole psychedelic part to coffee like if you like remember the first time that you drank a coffee that energy rush that boost that you got you know it was something that your body has never experienced before from like that amount of caffeine i guess the same thing from like i don't know if it's the same thing for sodas or anything i don't know how much caffeine is in soda but oh soda is so good that's one of the things that i just can't give up soda is so good I know it's so bad for you, but hey, hand me a Dr. Pepper, hand me a cactus cooler. We're in for a good time. That's one of the things that I'll never give up. But yeah, there's something like psychedelic to coffee too. I heard that when you don't drink coffee or you stop drinking coffee for like a couple of months and you suddenly start drinking coffee, that you feel feel this like weird i don't know it's like a it's like a, almost like a psychedelic experience just the the way your body feels after having all that caffeine within you or i think maybe not just coffee but just not drinking any caffeine in like months i think it was either coffee or caffeine i'm gonna have to look at that video again i think i got that from like some guy that was talking on on joe rogan's podcast and i was like what man coffee and I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, coffee comes from like, like some of the best coffees in the world. I've heard come from monkey poop. Like these monkeys, I think they're monkeys. They're, they're like little lemurs almost, but they like feed them something certain, something specific. And they eat that and then they go around collecting the little, the little beans of coffee inside their poop, the fermented coffee. 
and then they go and like do the process of it to just you know i get it handled and whatever and i don't know I mean, mushrooms grow from poop too. And those are like psychedelic things. So I don't know. Maybe there's a correlation there. Somehow, some way. You know? Poop. And coffee. I don't know. Coffee is good though. That would be a great sponsorship one day. If if some, some coffee brand sponsored the podcast, I would happily drink coffee Every single time that I came on the podcast. I love coffee. Did I mention that I love coffee? Man, there's something there's something different about the taste of coffee. I don't even get it for like the energy levels. I get it just for the taste. It's so nice. Like I don't add all that much to my cup. I don't add anything. I add milk. Like a little bit of milk. Just because I like the color of it, you know. But I love the milk. I love the milk. I love the coffee. It's so good. So warm. So nice. I love it. I think I can drink coffee. I can drink black coffee. I know that was a little struggle at first, but you get used to it. Just little sips, you know? And then you start building that palate up a little bit. Start getting used to it. Because there'll be times well where you'll go out and you'll try to get some coffee and they don't have any creamer or they don't have any milk or they don't have any sugar or anything at all. They just have the black coffee and that's what you gotta drink so might as well build up a little bit of a of a tolerance to that and that's what i've been doing you know i don't add any sugar to my coffee i don't like coffee with sugar unless it's like some some drink from a certain place like if it's from starbucks or from like another coffee shop and they add sugar into it that's different but here at home just a little bit of milk we're good to go that's it. That's all I need. But yeah, 22, going back to 22 years old, man, I feel like I'm probably going to do another episode of the podcast, just strictly talking about becoming 22, saying goodbye to 21, man, it's one of the, it's those years that people say like, and eh, like, don't even worry about it. Like, it's just the awkward years. 22, 23, 24 sounds cool. But I'm looking for, like, I, I don't know. I kind of want to save it for another podcast episode. But I am looking forward to another year of life. Like, this year has been very crazy. There's a lot to talk about. But, yeah. I have to handle the whole DMV situation and the car situation. So, yeah. I don't know how all that's going to go. This video is going to be cut a little bit short just because I got to go. I got to go check on the car. It's kind of giving me like a little bit of a, of a, just my mind's like, hey, bro, your car. Hey, bro, go check your car. Hey, bro, go check your car because you don't know. And I really don't know. So thank you guys for watching. I know we talked about just a bunch of random shit. That's how my morning went. I am still missing coffee. In this morning, but I also haven't drank any water, so I should probably do that first. Stay hydrated, everybody. Stay hydrated. If you don't have water with you, get to water as soon as possible. Some nice filtered cold iced water, you know? Water is super good for you. That's one thing that I've been trying to do. I failed today, but waking up in the mornings and first things first, drinking a glass of water because you release a lot of water when you're asleep and you wake up kind of dehydrated which sometimes you might mistake in as waking up tired, which is not true. How are you sleeping eight hours a night and waking up tired? Should be rested? No. Yeah, so stay hydrated. It's very hot right now for some fucking reason. It's October. It was cold and now it's hot. And I'm just waiting for it to be cold again and just stay cold for a good while. Hopefully until like February. But um, yeah, I'm waiting for... Hoodie seasons to come out. I'm asking again. Thank you, God, for allowing me to practice another podcast episode here with you guys. Tell a little bit about how my day is going. Um, yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Pretty interesting day. It's just getting started. It just turned 12 p.m. So, yeah, I had a good time. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening on audio listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Anchor, any other audio listening platforms, because I know that we're on a lot of them. I just don't really know all of the ones. I just know like the major ones. Come over to YouTube. We have the video version of the podcast here. We have two camera angles. That one's last podcast that one looked fucking cool it looked like cinematic almost but i feel like it just depends on the time of day because it might be a little bit too bright but yeah we're all figuring this out be grateful for today um i don't know what time of day it is for you i don't know if you're watching this to end your day to start your day just in the middle of your day hopefully you have either a great next day or a great rest of your day that's all we can ask for, you know? Can't really plan things out. Can't really determine how shit's gonna go. It's like that that stoic quote. Like let's let's end it off on a stoic quote, you know? Just to get a little bit of stoicism in you. It says, All you can control is how you play. Alright? You can't control the weather. You can't control time. You can't control how other people around you are acting. You can't control the outcome of something that you're trying to do. You can't control whether or not you get a job. You can't control. How, you can't control a lot of things. So why even try? Just focus on how you play and how you perform. Keep trying your best. It's advice that I'm telling myself right now. You know, just keep trying your best. Don't worry too much about the outcome. Just know and believe within yourself, within God, within the universe, whatever you look up to. Just believe that everything's going to be good. That you're trying your best. That you're doing your best. And whatever the outcome is, it's fine. You did your best and that's all that matters. Thank you guys for listening to another podcast with me by myself. I'm really trying to get used to these. I'm really trying to get in front of a camera more often feel supernatural this one felt supernatural i didn't feel like like the, the one that i did before this one felt a little bit more um awkward i would say but this one felt nice i think i was just in a better role today and it feels good it feels really good actually sitting in front of a camera doing what i love to do i'm remembering i'm remembering my roots my my traits my characteristics my values the things that make me great yeah like, even, even the basics, like, we have basic Amazon headphones, we got basic microphone that I started off with, a super basic laptop, just, like, the necessities that you need in order to start a podcast. That's literally what I'm working with. It just here in my bedroom, we don't got a studio, we don't got a lot of shit, it's just, you know, in reality, like... I'm lucky that I have these two cameras. I'm very grateful for these two cameras. They've been doing their job perfectly. They could be like super high quality and like compared to like a whole bunch of other. I just realized there's like a little thing right there. I got it off. Damn, you guys were looking at that the entire time. I'm sorry. I, I thought it was a lens flare at first, but I was like, there's no light. It's a spider. Oh, it's right there on the lens. Oh, it fell. But yeah we're going down to the basics we're gonna be talking more about that in the future too because i feel like that's very important just remember see it you see it again you see it like right here that's the spider again bro you gotta go sorry you can't be on my lens but yeah sticking to the basics remembering what it means to actually start off as a podcaster and not try and compete or be on the level of these people who have been doing it for a very very long time or have been at least along the realms of content creation for a very long time. And they're just used to it. Like adding a podcast to the arsenal is just it's just a mandatory or um, it just makes sense for them to just go and start a podcast. You know, you know that they're good in front of a camera. So if they go and do it for a very long time, they're going to get the hang of it like nothing. But um, yeah, I'm still learning. Starting off with the basics again, and I, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this basic stuff, just talking shit um, about me getting stuck in shit and having to take a shit while getting stuck in shit. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great, fantabulous day. I'm hoping 
God, please allow me to get from here to the DMV, pick up my brother and sister and come home all at once, that my car works, that it stays on, and that money enters my pockets so I can actually pay for the things that I need to pay off. Uh, I ask of you to allow anybody who's watching to know that you're with them and that you're taking care of them and that all this shit's going to pass by. You know, it feels like a lot sometimes. I know some of the people that are watching may feel the same thing if they even got into this state or to this point of the podcast, but man, I know life is tough. Life can... It's full of ups and downs, but that's that's the thing right there. It's full of ups and downs. So with every down, it's going to come in up. And those ups, when you start going up, it allows the, the downs that come next a little bit easier to manage, a little bit easier to get through. We're all going through it. We're all figuring out. But uh, sometimes we just need a little bit of a of a reinforcement. That everything is going to pass. And that everything's going to be okay. And that we love ourselves. That we're powerful. You know? Don't really have to worry all that much. They just, um, this, there's a lot of fear in the world. You know, a lot of things that bring fear to you. But uh, sometimes we just have to remember that Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. You're going to get everything that you desire. And you're just always learning. So just keep learning. Focus on that. I want everyone who's listening to this podcast to just keep growing. To know that that's the main focus. Just keep growing. Keep learning. Keep observing things. Keep thinking of different things. Keep enjoying your life. Because you only have it once. You know? Sometimes we often think about lives that we wish we wish we could have. That would make our lives easier. But sometimes we just have to look a little bit deeper than the surface level stuff and just appreciate what we got now you know so again i hope everyone has a great day i hope you guys achieve and stay motivated with all of your goals it's a nice monday morning afternoon now it's a nice start to the week birthday week another podcast coming out soon with just me talking about being 22 and what i've been learning what i've been been what i've been in serving sorry i stutter a lot over these headphones but yeah i'll stop wasting your guys's time i'll let you guys go have a great day make great choices stay positive stay determined stay focused be good ask for good um yeah have a good one thank you for watching i'll catch you guys all in the next podcast episode my name is Jawan. this has been kicking back with Jawan. On the Kickback Podcast. Yeah. Let's look forward to great things. I'll see you guys all later. Bye bye. I'll stop talking. See ya.